Next news is out of New York, USA. New York orders school to accept unvaccinated kids amid major measles outbreak. The state of New York just ordered a school to accept unvaccinated kids despite the school's objections. The Sumalith School for Girls in Cedarhurst, a private Orthodox Jewish school, there you go. reportedly... Huh? It's because it's Orthodox Jew, isn't it? Mm. Huh. Reportedly banned unvaccinated kids from class and extracurricular activities during the outbreak, but the state's education department overturned the decision twice. Now the school is suing the state, saying that officials are violating their First Amendment rights. New York legislators are currently considering a law that would ban vaccine exemptions based solely on the basis of religion. Wait, so the law, is, the law in New York allows... That, so this is a Jewish school, is that right? That's correct. And who, so what are, let me actually, the origin, originally who was challenging, so the, the school wanted not to, uh, one, the school didn't want to let... Um, Unvaccinated kids in their classes. Oh, actually, so I was wrong, I was wrong. This is actually the, against the stereotype. So even though the school is Orthodox Jewish, they were pretty good with this. They didn't want to allow kids that are not vaccinated in school. And who was opposing it? The parents? Um, right. So they've they've had to take this, you know, to the state of New York. And what they're saying is that the state of New York has ordered the school to accept the unvaccinated kids. But who took um, it right to the state? The parents. Back. The parents took it. Okay, so the parents took this to the... Uh, state, right? Yeah, I mean, that would have to be the case. That would have to be the case. Oh, actually, so this is interesting. The school is a religious school, but they got this right. The school was like, because a lot of times you hear like a lot of very Christian or very Jewish schools that are, um, you know, anti-vaxxers. But this school, even though it's Orthodox Jewish, they were like, yeah, no, please stop spreading disease in our, among our, our children. But the parents were apparently not happy with this. And they went to the government and they won. But wait, what, what, how did they, why, what was, how did they win? This is, doesn't make sense. Because right now we don't have, right now in most places in the United States, and this is starting to change, mm -hmm. but you you can um, exempt or opt out of vaccines by saying that you have a religious objection to getting them. Um, now, what, what they're saying here um, is that the current measles outbreak has put the vaccination debate to the forefront of public health, um, and that's why the school is, is fighting this on the First Amendment, right? Um, they're saying that there are schools, in quote, there are schools that have taken the position that under the school's religious belief, as a matter of Jewish law, students should be vaccinated. Um, the school's lawyer, Philip Culbin, told The Post that the parents uh, may have different and sincere belief about vaccinations, but they say that based on Jewish law and our position um, in the Jewish law says just the opposite. So, uh, you know, they're saying that um, How even, even by Jewish law, Parents need to be vaccinating their kids. It doesn't matter if it's Jewish law or not. They, uh, they that's just the, their language. But they, the law that matters that they're using is the First Amendment. So the school is not accepting this. The school is like, no, fuck this shit. We don't want to accept unvaccinated children, and they're using the First Amendment rights. How is this a First Amendment right? That's a good question. Um, I mean, I'm hoping it is because I want the school to win and I'm happy that the school is challenging it. But how is this for First Amendment thing? They're like, you cannot. Um, I don't know. Anyways, I hope they win because they're going right to the Constitution, because if they win, then this whole they're challenging this whole law everywhere in the United States. Right. Like if they win, then their argument will apply everywhere, wouldn't it? Like they would be setting a precedent. They would be. Well, and, and right now, the, I. I believe that there are some lawmakers that do have this out there trying to cancel the religious exception um, from schools. And New York is actually one of the people who are considering doing that in the future. But as of right now, um, you know, they're they're sticking with what their law states. And that is that, you know, with religious exceptions, children can still go to school. Yeah, maybe we can't blame New York State because they're like, we don't make the law, we just follow the law, right? Right. I mean, that's the law that's there right now and that's yeah. what they do have to follow so i, I mean it's a good thing then that this is being challenged uh, maybe it's a, maybe this is a good thing that this school that the state did this 
Because then if the school now challenges this law on a constitution, you know, on constitutional grounds, then maybe this backfires and sets a precedent that nobody could use that law anymore. Like the, maybe this will just be a challenge to the law. So maybe this is a, a small defeat that leads to a bigger win if the school wins. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, Sopam is saying sounds like an uh, alternate universe orthodox school doing the right thing when it comes to stupid things. Yeah, but the parents are orthodox Jewish people that are against the school. So it's not that alternate. Let me see what are the top comments is here. Oh, the top comment is too long. So I'm not going to read the top comment. Here's a shorter one. Laura is saying, well, I guess the next article is going to say measles outbreak in New York schools. Um, all right, let me, should we go to the, oh wait, there's somebody saying, yeah, how is it the First Amendment? Spencer is asking as well. Yeah, I don't know, Spencer. Uh, maybe we'll find out. But I'm hoping this escalates, because if this escalates, this whole religious exemption for vaccinations might get challenged completely. Um, I, I don't say this often, but atheists go support this religious school. <laughs> Orthodox religious school. Let, let's go. Yeah, we should support this Orthodox Jewish religious school against the U.S. government. Um, this is yeah. So, but I hope they win. I'm on yeah. the I'm on the Orthodox Jewish school side right now. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.